What's up guys, this is ZonaFan, finally here with another LEGO Star Wars mock showcase video. And today I think I've got what might be my best work so far. If you end up enjoying this video and want to see more LEGO Star Wars content on my channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe because we are super close to passing that 250 milestone. To start off, we have this custom speeder bike I made, which was surprisingly challenging when it came to designing it. My favorite part is where the controls and the front of the speeder intersect because it just looks so smooth. Designing the rear section of the speeder was one that was particularly difficult for me because there was barely any space for me to work with. So I was constantly going between designs until I decided to add this fin, which gave it the compact look I wanted without being too stubby. Overall, I like the design a lot. It's simple, but I'm glad I was still able to add my own personal flair to it. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Here's my diorama of the Battle of Calor, featured in the opening sequence of Star Wars The Bad Batch. Now, if you guys followed the build series I did for this project, first of all, thank you so much if you did, you'll know that this thing was not easy to make and has been the result of a lot of hard work and Lego bricks. So what I'm gonna do right now is sort of a breakdown of the processes I used to create this thing and just what exactly is really taking place here. What's happening in this diorama didn't actually happen in the show. So what I did was basically sort of a what if scenario on what might have happened on Kalar if instead the 501st went in to reinforce Captain Gray's troops. I had a lot of fun figuring out what I wanted to do with my minifigures, and for most of the clones, I actually used rubber bands on their necks with a single Lego stud on top to get some super cool poses that add a lot of life to the rest of the scene. All right, so what's happening here is we have the 501st coming in to reinforce these two clones, one of which is injured and has fallen into this puddle. Meanwhile, the rest of them are trying to push back the advancing droid forces. And as you can probably tell, this is basically the average Clone Wars battle, but the presentation is what makes this mock stand out for me. Getting this asymmetric outline for Kalar was a pretty complex process, especially considering its curvature, which I ended up using a lot of these swiveling pieces for. I then paired them up with some snot or studs not on top elements to give the edge that nice sloping effect. As for the rest of the mock, there's a lot of greebling being used to get the texture and detail that you see here. Shout out to my friend William for helping with the rocks in the background, and guys, I still can't believe how well this diorama turned out, and I'm definitely looking forward to doing more projects like this in the future. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, I'd greatly appreciate a like on the video. And if you want to keep up with all my future LEGO Star Wars content, make sure to check that you're subscribed with notifications on. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite custom piece featured in this video? Be sure to also check out my Discord server via the link in the description. And until my next video, this is Zona Fan, signing off and wishing you a happy new year.